Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Hermes and their spring collection. So I'm bringing you a couple of bronzers we're gonna get into. I'm gonna have a highlighter or two to get into and I have two lip products. I'm also gonna be giving you some comparison swatches. So if you wanna see how this Hermes face came together with this super chic thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump in, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I am rocking our Silk Twill Turban Style Headband in a Sky Blue, okay? I just, I'm in a blue mood today. I'm not sure if it's the weather, it's pretty dark outside, but I'm just feeling blue today. And so I went with this one. And Silk Twill is the uh, standard in luxury for famed fashion houses around the world including Hermes. When you think of Hermes, you should be thinking about Silk Twill, okay? One of the things you should be thinking about. And so because of that, I thought this would fit the bill for today, okay? They come in lots of colors and some really cool prints. There's some elastic in the back, so we've got some room to stretch uh, depending on head and hair size. And if you wanna check out any of our Silk Twill headbands, you can visit us at breezyt.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. So let's jump right in. I grabbed two of the Hermes Plein Air H Trio Healthy Glow Mineral Powder Bronzers, okay? This one is 04 CN. I also grabbed the darkest color, 05 Colorado. I grabbed one of their Iridescent Mineral Powders in Coral Mojave, and I grabbed two of their Spring Release uh, released lipsticks. This one is Brunyating, and this one is Beige Croissette. We'll talk more about that when we get to the lips. And then there's one more product. There was a mistake when ordering, so I was sent uh, the other Rose um, Iridescent Mineral Powder. This one is Rose Atacama. And yeah, the point was, so I was supposed to send it back, right? That was always the intention. Spoke to them, I'm gonna send it back. But then it arrived and it's so beautiful that I'm, I'm torn right now. So I have just the time between the start of this video and when I get to putting on highlighter to decide is this gonna go back or is this not? I don't know, it's really beautiful. I will show the two of them together um, when we get to that part. But that's what's on tap. We've got some stuff to cover. And I'm also gonna do some comparison swatches with some of my favorite bronzers against these. So let's jump in. So far, Hermes has stuck to their two big releases a year when they launched the beauty line. They said that's what was gonna happen. And I appreciate the fact that they stuck to it. One, we're not overwhelmed with Hermes makeup products, but two, the anticipation is always there. What are they going to do next? You know it's only gonna come, come a couple of times a year. And so it's exciting when they do come out. So this is really ex an exciting release for them. Here are the two colors together. Uh, this is CN, so this, this would be my shade. And then I went the one darker. It may be hard to see, but Colorado is absolutely darker than CN, and we'll see how they swatch. One of the things I love is that the uh, this one corresponds with my um, complexion balm. So I wear CN uh, in the complexion balm and I'm wearing that right now. And just an FYI really quickly, everything that I have on my face will always be in my description with some affiliate links. So if you choose to purchase one of these products and wanna use my affiliate link, I absolutely appreciate it. But if you just wanna know what I'm wearing, you can always find that information in the description. So CN is my shade. And so CN was my shade here, was easy to choose. And it's the same model, which is also very helpful for me, okay? So I knew when I saw her, I said, okay, so I know this will be a good, but I also wanted to see what the darkest shade looked like, so I grabbed that too. So if you've seen one of my Hermes videos, you know I always come with the information. So since last year, they did appoint a new uh, creative director of beauty, Gregoris Pirpilis. And so this is, I think it's like his first, his first launch. And we have a couple of changes here. So Pierre Hardy is still designing the products, which we love, we love, we love these products. This feels a little bit heavier than the other compacts. Well, that's because they changed how we open them. So there's a little lip here to put your finger. And now there's a little tab here to click, you hear it, into place. As opposed to, let's see, let me get a smaller one. That's the other difference with this line. These products are bigger. 
The original products or the products up until now have been magnetic. So they just snap shut. Now we have a little clip. I'm not sure if that's going to continue going forward, but that's an absolute difference. And then we have a size difference, okay? So you can see the size difference. These, this is the normal size. And this is the size of these. I anticipate products going back to this size. Uh, I think it's just for this line. I, I doubt they're going to make every product bigger. And of course, Hermes packaging is a thing on its own. If you're not familiar, beautiful paper. Uh, they made paper lush, okay? Really nice paper packaging. And you can see the orange box through here. That's true with the lip products as well. And when you open it up, you have the famed orange box. Okay, so it is called the H Trio powder, okay? And they have been inspired by three elements from the earth, air, earth, and sun, okay? So there we have the trio. It has the H passant on it, okay? We see the H here. Listen, listen. Pierre Hardy always. I mean, it's just... Hermes is a brand that, I, I don't know how you guys feel about it. It's a brand that whenever their fashion show, their fashion show was just this past weekend. I'm always watching their fashion show. There's just an air of elegance. There's just an air of just chicness to everything they do that just draws me in. I, I, I just really, 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 really. We all have brands that we look to that a luxury brand or something that you're really impressed by, things they do. Hermes is pretty much consistent to consistently the brand for me. And um, so this just, the design alone is just so thoughtful and chic and beautiful. And so, yes, you can see there are different colors there. There's a slight iridescence as well. So we'll have a, a nice little shimmer to our bronzer. This is really thoughtful as well. Each harmony evokes the color palette of one of the world's landscapes. Cien, which is not this one. Cien, which is my shade. Uh, uh, is a harmony of browns echoing scorched Tuscan earth and elevating the complexion with natural warmth. There's 88% natural ingredients in the Healthy Glow Mineral Powder. With hyaluronic acid derivatives, it blurs imperfections uh, <laughs> and unifies the complexion while preserving the skin's natural hydration. Let's get the swatch and on my face, we're gonna do CN first. They did come out with a brush. I did not get the brush, but I'm gonna use an older brush of theirs, their uh, angled brush to get this on my face. So let's go. So here is CN swatched, okay? Now you can see that's a lot of color that is gonna show up on me immediately. And here it is in the pan. The pans look lighter than they uh, than they are. And um, that's curious, but that that's the truth. The pictures, they may not be coming across in the pictures how much pigment there is, but here it is on the brush. I'm only gonna do half this face with CN and then the other half with Colorado, okay? I'm being so delicate, it doesn't make any sense. I don't want, I don't want you to, please. And I use this brush. I heard there's some, you know, there's some disharmony in the brush community about these, or not the brush community, people who have this brush. I like this brush, I use the brush. I, I don't just say I I uh, use them when I don't. I am just so quickly bronze and I can't stand it. I love a nice glow to my makeup, especially when it's sophisticated. So when my bronze has a, just a nice amount of glow, especially in the summertime when the sun is hitting you, I, I do not like the summer, but when I have to be outside, okay? When the sun is hitting you, and you get that little bit of something. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here we have, you can see nothing going on on this side. And then you see I'm warmed up on this side very, very nicely. Okay, so here is Colorado. It is darker. It again, it's hard to kind of see potentially. I'm hoping you're getting it. It is darker, but I will say about CN, there is more of an orange undertone here than with Colorado. Now, Colorado is the deepest shade. Five is the deepest shade. I'm hoping seeing them on me at least gives you a sense. If you're darker than me, certainly, certainly complexions darker than me will be able to wear it. They also have a, um, a, a model with deep skin on their website that you could see how Colorado looks on her, and that should be helpful uh, as well. Okay, let's warm up this side of the face with Colorado. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 
right away, straight away. Good Lord, I'm trying not to mess this up. This design, man, Pierre Hardid really knocks it out the park every single time. Pierre Hardy also has his own brand, so you can check him out if you're interested. He does have his own uh, fashion brand as well as working for Hermes. Um, he's dope. I've said it early on, he's a master at like color blocking, which is why you see a lot of that in the um in the lipsticks and stuff this is completely like what he does in his own uh line so yeah this is really really nice both will work really well on me colorado when i'm even more tan um than now we've got cn we've got colorado are they different enough that you need both if you want both Mm, the proof is here, so you have to decide for yourself. If you're my complexion, that's up to you, okay? If you're lighter than me, that's up to you. You know, I've talked about it. I'm not a fan of changing races through my bronzer, so I never want my bronzer to be too far of a departure from my actual skin, never the goal. So for me, these two fit nicely, but you can see it for yourself on me. You have to decide. Like again, could the shade range be better? I don't even think there's a question about that. But something else I never talk about is the cost of um, of products on my channel because the cost is there for us to see before we go ahead and press buy, right? This is not a necessity. These are wants. And when something says Hermes before it, I'm not going to get crazy shocked because of the price. Hermes is not you know, a brand from my local bodega. That's just not what it is. So you decide to, I'm, I can't tell you what's worth it. I can't, I can't decide that for you. But if you do get it, I think it's wearing really beautifully and it looks nice. And I'm, I'm really most impressed now with the, yes, the color is very, and it's seamless and it's pretty, but I'm really enjoying this, this slight glow that it's giving, very natural, excited. Let's get to these, some of my favorite, other favorite bronzers, and then we'll get to these cheeks. I forgot to tell you the inspiration for Colorado because in the description they're telling you pretty much like the undertones and stuff like that. So Colorado, the fiery intensity of the red hot earth in the Colorado desert is captured in the shade as radiant deep hues fuse into a luminescent light. Okay, so there's more red to this one. There's more of that orange in uh, CN. So that might help you too knowing the, the, um, the undertones they're going for. I'm, I'm a nerd for stuff like this. I like knowing the inspiration for things. So I wanted to share that. Well, I'll say this about Hermes. Their colors, their colors are much deeper than my normal colors. That's for sure. And my colors in other brands, meaning the models are also my shade. And it makes sense for me because one of my favorites is Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is 03. And you can see the big difference between the Hermes one. So I'm actually wondering if I could get away with the uh, number three. I mean, I, I maybe I could have gotten away with number three, um, but, and also I can just use less of it. I was just going in because of the video, but I'm wondering now looking at these other ones, I'm going, hmm, maybe I should have, maybe I could have gone in with number three. So that is Victoria Beckham Beauty. Here's my Dior Forever uh, Natural Bronze in Amber Bronze, okay? Victoria has more orange to it. I'm hoping these are helpful too because I don't make excuses for color ranges. However, seeing what I typically wear and what these new ones look like, this might be stretching more than the um, picture suggests even on their site. Here's the Gucci bronzer in 04. Here's my oversized Chanel Sun Deep uh, bronzer. Again, a favorite. I wear this one all the time. Very interesting to see how these colors are stacking up against the Hermes. Here's the Intense Shade from La Bouche Rouge. Okay, another favorite. I'll do one more, one more. This is Truffle from Westman Atelier. Okay, so you see how my favorites stack up. Which ones are the darkest? Uh, it's easy to see. It's the Hermes and probably the, the Westman Atelier. Everything in that is significantly lighter and they do bronze me up. So I really do hope that seeing these help um, and maybe you can gauge a bit better 
how uh, these two shades will look on you because certainly I typically wear lighter bronzers from my selection here. So uh, this, this, I'm hoping it helps. Okay, I'm gonna use the Hermes Rose Tan um, blush. I don't have any blush on to add to this, uh, this, um, these bronzers. Rose Tan, those are buzz, those are buzzwords for me, guys. They're really buzzwords for me. How are you feeling about Hermes as a brand? Let me know. The reason I love them is because um, how I wear my makeup is, 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 is they, their products are how I wear my makeup. So light, washes of color, natural, and, and sophisticated. Um, that's, all, that's all I need, right? Let's get to these highlighters. They still look good, guys. They still look good. The H percent is intact. That's really good to know. Ah, that, that there's nothing worse than you know a beautiful product, and as soon as you open it, there goes the damn product. Okay, so we have the iridescent glow powder. Let me get it right. Iridescent mineral powder. This one is zero two coral Mojave. Okay, this is the peachy one, coral one. Hopefully you can see fairly easily uh, the different shades here, which I love. So it's like you mix them all. I can't take it. You mix them all up and you will uh, get different light, uh, different, different varying degrees of light. There we go. So here is the coral color. Very, very pretty. It is looking more peachy outside the light. At first I thought, is this just going to be another gold? But it's not, it is giving me a corally color. And I'm going to use a very, very airy brush here because I don't wanna to do too much. I want this to just, let's see, go in immediately. Gosh, I hope it's coming off immediately. Yep. Very, very pretty. You can see it on the the uh, the brush. Woo, sophisticated glow. Sophisticated glow. If I ever had a if I if I ever had a makeup brand, maybe I'd name it that. Oh yeah, that's yum. That's yum. Okay. Mm, and look at even from the front. I see it creeping in right here. Oh, yes. Yes, Coral Mojave. Now, the big question, am I going to use the rose one? Think about that for a second. Did we talk about this Coral inspiration? Uh, Coral Mojave, a shimmering veil of light with coral hues resembling a sunset over sandstone in the Californian desert. Have you ever, have you ever road tripped? From California to Vegas, to me, it's one of the, the best um, uh, trips to take in the U.S. I just think it's just a, such a nice drive, an interesting drive, especially being from New York City, just being out there and just driving across. So I recommend that road trip if you've never done it, that Vegas to Cali to L.A. road trip is a nice one. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to go with the Rosa Tacama. Try to deny. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. The willpower has left me. Um, this is Rosa Takama, and I want to show them the two of them together. So here we have the rose. Here on the left, the Coral Mojave that I just tried on. And I'm going to be using them. That's the thing. I know I'm going to get a lot of use from these, so I don't feel too, too bad. Okay. I don't feel too, too bad. But let's see what they're saying about the Rose Atacama inspiration. So Rose Atacama. The Chilean desert's rugged terrain of sand and rock is brought to life by rare and unexpected blooms captured in this iridescent iridescent shade with a rosy sheen. The 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 um Chilean desert spectacular spectacular. Okay, so let's gently run this over here. 
So the lightest shade of the of the um the lightest shade of the of the highlighter is in the middle. So that's the part you kind of get a decent amount of when I'm swatching. Okay, so we have the corally one here, Mojave, and then that rose Atacama up top. So you see what I mean? Like super light in the middle, then you get the more rosy color around the edge. I'm going to use the same exact brush because I love what it did. I just, you know, wiped it off. I love how much it applied. It didn't do too much. So we see CN with the coral. Now let's go in. Right away. And I'm being gentle. This is no joke. This brush and this brush. This brush is not. Whoa. Okay. So now perfect. Perfect lesson. This you have to be careful with, eh? This one didn't come to play. Very, very pretty. And very seamless. Mid 40s. There are things I just don't want especially with my powdered products. And that would start and end with just things adhering to my skin, emphasizing my skin. I don't want it, I don't like it, so I am not a fan of it. And this isn't doing that. Really, really beautiful. The coral is here. This is lighter. I'm not gonna say I have a favorite. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments below. I have to sit with things a little bit longer. Let's do coral down the, the nose. Okay, so I just wanted to swatch them against uh, two other Hermes ones that I have. This one is the Perma Brass, the super gold one here. And then this one down here is uh, Mirage, okay, zero two Mirage. What's interesting is the finish is completely, you can see this one certainly is much more blah, 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 boom. But this one is two. These are, the two new ones are, are, um, are not as bright as the other two. These two, then this one, and then we have this gold one that's super like in your face. But these are the four uh, Hermes uh, highlighters I have. So it's time for these lips, okay? The packaging in all its glory. So smart, especially yachting and um, thinking about summertime and, and, and the water and the sea. I just think Pierre Hardy again nailed the design. Okay, from these lipsticks, their melting texture gives a luminous translucent finish. So that's what we're looking for. The first one I'm going to try on is Beige Croissette. There were three. I have two of them. The other one was a peachy one. And I also wanted to mention that the bronzers are refillable, okay? So you'll be able to refill these should you choose to. Mm. Hermes is, is having a good time with these lipsticks, eh? These different finishes. Uh, I'm quite a fan. I know they did three. This is a, this is a formula I hope we see more of in the future. This wears so, oh, this feels so nice on the lips. So, so, so nice. So nice, like a beautiful gloss and a, and a lipstick bullet. Lightweight, very, very pretty color. Very, very pretty color. They went dark. These are dark for them, eh? That coral was the lightest one. I was excited to see darker shades. Beige Croissette, brilliant beige Croissette because of the, the sheen. It, it's dark, but it's not really dark because it is um, translucent. So it just gives a really nice color on the lips. I thought for this one, I would need a, um, a, a liner, but no, beautiful, beautiful color. Love it with this look, something on the lips, not too much. Everything still looks put together really nicely. This is number one, let's get to the last one. Then we have this fun brun yachting. Oh, I hope this orange in the stripes is coming across. Such fun packaging. I love that you get to, you know, you if you're not, when I'm not collecting, but I have all these different um, cases for Hermes lipsticks because they are always changing it up. And this one is a light brown, they're saying. So here is brun yachting and here is beige croissette. 
Okay, so this one has a bit more color. Let's get it on the lips, super excited. Just quickly, I will always have swatches on my Instagram page a couple of days after a video goes live. So come follow me on Instagram, come stop by and see what I have going on over there. I have swatches in natural light videos and photos, typically in sunlight when, when the weather is cooperating, it'll be in sunlight, which is 95% of the time. So come visit me over on Instagram. This is actually beautiful. I'm so glad they didn't do pinks or anything that we've seen a lot of, any of those super pale, beigey colors. They have enough of those. I'm so glad they went with these colors. Beautiful, uh, beautiful shine to them. They just feel, again, really nice on the lip. This one's wearing as a brown, like orange on me. This is not just wearing as a light brown. It's bringing out, there's some orange in there and I really like, how um, uh, translucent it is, so it's not, and I have a problem, I've talked about this a lot before, oranges on me are pretty hit or miss uh, lipsticks because they can either sink into lines and there's something weird happens and I love orange lipsticks. So it's sometimes some of them are hard for me to wear, but this is doing a really nice job because of its translucency and it's just really beautiful, really, really beautiful color. Two beautiful, beautiful colors. Almost makes me wish I got the coral just to see what that had going on. Okay guys, I think you figured out my thoughts throughout this video. Um, there are brands I just stick with. So I'm, I, you know, there's, there, there are uh, expectations that I have going in, but I'm also kind of relaxed with certain brands because I just feel like they're gonna bring it. They have brought it such, thus far. So I feel like I don't have to worry about certain brands. Hermes, although it's not been, a long time, there's been enough time that I um, I trust their makeup products uh, when they come out to perform really well on me. So I wasn't worried about performance, um, but I was curious about performance. So the bronzers are, are really, really beautiful. Again, you saw them swatch. So these are like the two deepest bronzers I have in my collection and um, the lipsticks are absolutely beautiful. And then we have that rosy color here. We have the coral color here. Just a really beautiful, seamless glow. Everything just looks really nice together and happy, 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 happy. Cannot wait to see what fall, winter brings from them. It is over to you. You have to let me know, did you get any of these products? Are you going to get any of these products? How do you like the products on me? Let me know. Let me know how you feel about Hermes um, as a brand. Let me know all those things. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I always appreciate it when you do. And if you wanna check out any of our silk twill, turban style headbands, any of our t-shirt, hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, uh, boho head wraps and all our other hair accessories. Just visit us at breezyt.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.